Hello everyone, I am AJ and I'm here with another episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. Today we are going to be continuing our quest to get our ranks up. So I guess I have to get some crew together because I do not think I have enough. I want at least 300. Any here, I wonder? Yes, there are 19. Excellent, that's exactly how many I needed. Now off to murder people. Here, I guess I should take out this invasion force. What happened to all my men? Didn't I just have like 300? Oh, right, they're on the other ship. Right, right, right. Left. And let's give him a... Uh... Well, looks like I crashed into him by accident. So let me murder them as quickly as I possibly can. See that dodge? That dodge was epic moves. And he's dead. That was easy. I've got some sugar on me, I think. I think? I think. Jeez, words come out of my mouth. And I do not pay attention to them. Off I go. Hooray, another promotion. I am now an admiral. Ship upgrades? More acres? Only attractive. Nope. And now I shall sail away into the sunset. But I need to sell that sugar. I'll just sell it in the next place and murder people. Here this pirate ship... I'm sorry, pirate hunter is trying to murder me. So I'm just gonna murder him as quickly as possible can or run away. I think I'm gonna run away actually. Nah, but he's going the same direction as me. I'm going to head back around and murder him. That should be good. Here. Nope. I'm going to miss. Wait, am I? Hard to tell. Wow, I was dead on. They should call me, uh... Deadeye Murderer. Yep, that's what they should call me. You get in the way? Nah, you sink it. I think you've run into some trouble. <laughs> I'm not letting any of them survive. They're all gonna die. Yeah! If I crash into the ship, they're gonna live. Can't have that. Look at them all popping out. That was very amusing. Murdering people in the country where I'm a duke. I guess I need more men. Ah, what the hell. I'm feeling like a... A, a cocky bastard today. Yep, move that guy there. This guy here. This guy here. This guy up here. And yeah, that guy's fine. No, wait. He should go down. And it didn't give me enough turns. Alright, these guys are going around for some strange reason. They're welcome to do that. I guess it's a free country. Wait, no, it's not. This is Spain in the... 1600s? I forget. Not close enough. This guy needs to move here. There we go. Maybe I'll move these guys down here. And these guys forward. There we go. They're all done taking their turns. These guys are in the wide open. Oh, but these guys aren't weak in the wide open now, are they? I guess those guys are shooting there. And these guys are shooting there. They are not within range, though. Hmm, so if I go straight forward, I still won't reach them. How do I get them to come closer? 
Well, I could just wait here and see if they come closer. I'll just wait. They are not coming closer. Crap. I'm quite a predicament here. I guess I can rush. Oh, good. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. These guys can shoot there. Rushing them there. What? The hell? Was that? Those are Axemen! Oh, crud! That's it. I'm, I'm going. This has not gone well for me. I'm not going to take these guys out 300 style. I need to run. Freaking run as fast as I can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Wait, these are scouts? What the hell are scouts? Uh Oh, there's turning? Huh. Uh retreat. <laughs> that went poorly. Well, I'm gonna go find some more men. Looks like not many of them died, however. And I need to repair these ships. They are smoking. Maybe I'll just take out this treasure galleon. Love me some treasure. Hmm. Not liking this wind where I'm at right now. Um. What the hell? At least I didn't lose any gold. Wow. Okay, I guess this ship's the bountiful bosom now. You idiot. I'm talking to myself here, of course. Oh my god. I really am ashamed of that. I haven't put any thought into the fact that I need to repair my ships. But I do. I do need to repair them. A lot. Maybe I'll destroy this governorship. That'll cheer me up. He's gonna escape. Consider myself not cheered up. Not cheered up at all. I am not cheered up. It's your fault. You, the person watching, you distracted me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be mean to you like that. But I am upset that I lost my ship. I'm really upset about it. Seriously? You're coming back? I mean, shouldn't you be, like, concerned about your governor's safety? Or something like that? And all that jazz. I really hate this wind. Right now. Shoot that. Terribly. Shoot that. Hmm, a war galleon. Was the other ship a war galleon? I need another ship though. As a backup. In case I make another idiot mistake and this one dies as well.
Yeah, take that. That made me feel a little bit better. Knowing that a uh, governor died. The governor's daughter was probably on the ship with him as well. I am a psychopath. So I am now just sailing down this merry little way to recruit people from this area over here. I guess. Still need to find a good ship. Maybe a fast galleon? Something like that. A new warship would be best, but I can't find those very easily. So I go to Tom's Rest and these two cities over here. Fill up on some more men who I can send to the battle lines to get killed. Guess I can sink some of these ships. Grain transport. Maybe some people will starve to death. That'll cheer me up as well. Ooh, maybe I should just crash right into them. They have small crews. Then maybe the, some of them will be impressed with my skills. And they'll, uh... Ask me to be their valentine. And, uh, they'll join my crew. Rapier. Two guns. Haven't seen that animation in a while. Have we? Yeah, you're pathetic, man. Wow. These power-ups are really good. I wonder how much of this is my own skill and how much is a power-up. I'd say it's uh, mostly the power-ups, but also quite a bit my uh, skill. Because I remember when I first started, I could not parry, <laughs> and I could not... Well, I might as well just keep the ship. I could not parry, and I could not use the other types of attacks either. Let's see if I can hit this guy with everything I've got. Alright. Aw, no fight. Alright, no fight. Such a good rhymer. A rhymer. Yeah, I may as well keep her. And this pirate hunter. Because that's what sunk my last ship. Because I was severely damaged by a pirate hunter. That was a terrible attack. Why did I hit it there? I still lack self-control on the, uh ship fights, I immediately feel the urge to press the trigger. When really I should just uh, hold on for another few seconds at least. Why am I going so slow? He's going the same direction as me. Oh my god, pick a direction. Two knots? Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh look, one of those actually hit me. I just need to kill some time while I, uh... Wait for the crews to build up in the cities nearby. You're just cornering yourself, you idiot. Look, he's completely cornered himself. You're gonna die, man. You're gonna die. A very painful death. Oh boy. I just started the third part of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'd say they're doing a really good job of making these stories individual. Despite them having a lot of, you know, continuity. I wished Marvel would do that. Cinemat, I think their uh, a lot of their movies have too much continuity, and their shows have too little continuity. That is my opinion on uh, the Marvel movies. That being said, a lot of them I really like. It's just I feel they're more hit and miss nowadays. They're hit and miss, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Most of them are fun to watch just once. At least. And a few of them I like to watch over and over. Except I did not like... Iron Fist. I, I, I don't think it's unreasonable for someone to like it. It's not like it was like cringingly awful. Except the fight scenes were really weird. 
See, whenever I watch something that I think is bad, I know my first thought is that I don't understand what's happening. Because uh, I overanalyze everything, so if I analyze something and it makes no sense, I'll just be confused and then I'll realize, oh, it's bad. That's the explanation. Which one of these ships is the biggest? Because I'm keeping that one. Yeah, that's fine. So when the first fight scene started in Iron Fist on the Netflix show, my thoughts were, what is going on right here? Is, is it supposed to be like there's a special effect that's making him look graceful? Because their fight, the fight was like super slow. I actually watched the whole thing, and there were a lot of good parts, but the fight scenes were like really slow, and I, after reading an article on it, I'm like, oh, the fight scenes are slow. The fight scenes are slow because he's not good at Kung Fu. Or Kung Fu, is that the one I'm thinking of? The martial art? I don't know. I don't know about Iron Fist in the comics. I watched a Avengers cartoon that had him in it briefly, but he was such a small part in that show. So I have no idea what his character is supposed to be like, but the main problem I have was the fights were really slow. And that the reason they were slow is because he wasn't that great at martial arts. But enough about that. Oh, and just, yeah. If anybody likes it, that's completely fine. I don't even think it's unreasonable to like it. I wouldn't be surprised if someone said they like it. Because they'd probably be liking it for things besides the fight scenes. Even if you do, I'm... No problem with that. No problem with that at all. I should have taken that ship, damn it. Damn it. Oh well. Next fight. Oh hey look, it's the new warship I wanted. Here we go. I'm gonna take the ship. Let's get the grape shot ready. There's only 80 men aboard. Hooray! I just need to catch up to it. And... Yep, there, now let's crash into it as fast as possible. Before they have time to shoot back. Please keep fighting back. I like it when they struggle. When they shoot! Ha ha! And he doesn't die immediately. Why'd I do that? Ah! My fingers are improperly aligned. There we go. What, he dodged that? What kind of maniac is this guy? I guess I'll go with a slash in case he feels like dodging. What was that? What the hell? Uh, is going on here? Uh, I'm losing all my men! The men I just worked so hard to get. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be taking any ease. Huh. Cities this episode. Because this fight is going very strangely. What the hell was that? I'm sure I pressed that button. Finally. And then he runs into the sea like an idiot instead of drop, stop dropping and rolling. Although I suppose that would give me an opportunity to stab him through the neck. Or stick my sword way up his testicles. Yeah. Keeper! Take all. Finally, I've got my fleet. So I'm gonna name all of these. Alright, I've named all these ships. I've got the Bountiful Bosom, which is my uh, main ship, and then I've got the Rotten Corpse, which is my revenge ship, and then if both my main ship and my revenge ship are taken out, then there's the last fucking hub. Naturally. Now with my fleet, I'm going to attack this ship. Another fast galleon. That's painted Spanish. Oh, you missed me. Sorta. Oh, he's got a big crew. Let's do some of this. You piece of shit. You damaged my ship. Rapier. Haha, -ha, two guns. Bet you didn't expect that, did ya? 
So it's weird that the guy will only use a gun if I have a gun. I wonder what logic has resulted in that. I feel like I'm starting to slow down my character. Getting a bit older. There we go. Yay, no stuff. Sinker. Ha ha! And on I go. To land beyond the elephant seals. Wait, carcass. Is that a place I've taken? Eh, doesn't matter. This will be over quickly. Did an invasion force hit this place? Did I cut off their supply? I wanted to kill him! You know, I feel like teaching kids good versus evil is not really like a good thing, that a better thing would be to teach them to have honor. Like what they teach in Japan, because I feel like good and evil is an extremely subjective subject. And that it is ridiculous to think that you can tell it just by using your own judgment. Good and evil is not straightforward at all. Hooray, I'm a baron. Ooh, 500 acres. Ugh, attractive. Ugh. Because, like, I've seen children's shows and stuff where they say, well, the bad guy, when you defeat the bad guy, he's going to grovel at your feet. And if you trust him, he's going to kill you, so you should just kill him right away because he's groveling at your feet. Whereas, you know, if you teach, your, teach people to have honor and respect their enemies and their allies, then you give them, you give them their fair chance at groveling, because who knows, they might actually be telling the truth. But they never are. Why is it the villains are never telling the truth when they grovel at your feet and say, you know what? I can't defeat you, maybe I shouldn't attack you with your back turned, because that's exactly what you're expecting when I grovel at your feet. Seriously. Why would a villain think that groveling at the hero's feet would give them a chance to kill them if they were already defeated in battle? It's ridiculous. And that's just how I feel about that. Because I don't think good and evil is a straightforward subject in any sense of the imagination. It's extremely subjective. But now I'm going to murder this guy. <laughs> For no reason at all. I'm going to murder him. But I will not attack him with his back turned. No way will I attack him with his back turned. I'm going to murder him. I instigated the fight and I'm going to murder him. But I gave him an honorable fight in a duel. I didn't use sneaky tactics to have my men gang up against him. MURDER! <laughs> Here I'm gonna see if the governor has decided to promote me yet. It might be around that time. No. Gives a dance with her though. Seems alright. Hooray, dancing! Do I really look that young? Huh. How old am I? Hooray! Dancing. See, I double tapped for one of those, and I immediately double tapped there. I'm really starting to think that double tapping is directly related to the... Mini hearts. Hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be. I've just gotta do it in a rhythmic... Rhythmatic way. Hmm. I can do this. There we go. There we go. 
Yeah, dancing. Double tapping. Yay! I think I got this. Yo, okay, the double tapping has gotta be it. I'm completely convinced of this now. Darn it, didn't get any little hearts. Come on, give her a dip. Yeah! You mentioned this to me earlier? Ah. Uh, oh well. Maybe there'll be people here now. Who knows, but I want to check my age. Personal status? What? Zero gold? The hell? Uh, I guess I... Am I mistaken that I get that at the end? I guess I get it at the end. Weird. All I have to do is go to where the island is. I'll do that once I'm old. And dying. How old am I? I'm 42! In poor health. Really? This is poor health? Huh, I guess those power-ups really do help. I guess they need to have lots of ships then and not mess with pirates. Lots of ships, not mess with pirates. Eight, 288 months. I have not divided the plunder even once. Huh. Guess this Mystic Salve got me to where I am. But I'm in poor health now. Is there something worse than poor health? I wonder. What age do you get to poor health? Wasn't it 32? Well, wait, wasn't it 42? Wait a minute. Uh, I need to not think about that ever again. Not look it up. Bountiful Bosom, Run Corpse, and Last Fucking Up. Captain's Log, an important treasure map. Only one left. This one's gonna be hard to find, though. Hmm. Oh, there's two more pirate places here. I can get some good crew there. That's where I'm going, I guess. Well, that's gonna be for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. We sunk a lot of ships. And now my crew is gigantic, so no one can oppose me on this earth that I rule. So that's going to be for today, everyone. Bye!